Internal loan programs are similar to lender or investor overlays. Internal loan programs are for internal use only. Your borrowers cannot see the internal loan programs. Only back office users can choose the internal loan programs on a loan file. Once an internal loan program is assigned to a loan file, this will allow you to add items that may be required for a lender or investor in addition to your standard items such as additional required docs, additional loan guidelines, additional application form fields, and additional workflow steps. Let's create an internal loan program. First, click on Settings. Click on Platform Settings. Click on Company Info. Further down the page where you see Descriptive Loan Programs, click here to open the drop-down section to see both your standard loan programs and your internal loan programs. Toward the bottom of this section is where you can see the internal loan programs. I currently have four internal loan programs enabled here. Let's create a new internal loan program. Click on Add Loan Programs. For the internal loan program name, we recommend the naming convention of funding source name first, along with the loan program name after. This just makes things more consistent and easier for you and your team to easily find the correct internal loan program in the future. So in this example, my funding source is called New Lender, and this is for New Lender's Fix and Flip loan program. So we'll name this New Lender Fix and Flip. Now, it's asking us if this is for an internal loan program, so here we'll click on Yes. Then it asks, if we'd like to copy a list of required docs from an existing loan program, but since we're creating an internal loan program or lender slash investor overlay and just want to create a list of required docs that are specific to this lender or investor only and will display in addition to the standard list of required docs that the system will already request for the existing fix and flip loan program, we'll leave this blank so it doesn't copy any existing loan program required doc settings. Then we'll click Save to finish creating the new internal loan program. Now we can open up the Loan Program drop-down section to confirm that our new internal loan program is listed. Click here to open the drop-down section and see your loan programs. Now we can see the new internal loan program we just created called New Lender Fix and Flip and it's already enabled with a blue check mark. Now you can use this internal loan program to create unique required docs, unique workflows, unique guidelines, and unique form fields that would need to be added to a loan file if you were to place a fix and flip loan file with this specific lender or investor. We'll show you as an example what we already did with this internal loan program here called ABC Lender Fix and Flip. Let's open an existing loan file for a fix and flip loan program that does not have an internal loan program assigned to it yet. Click Pipeline. Click Pipeline Main. Click on the name to open up the loan file. Once the loan file is open, click on the Docs tab. This is now showing us the standard list of required docs that the system normally collects on all fix and flip loan files. We'll scroll down a little so you can see the list clearly. Notice this last column here. This shows us that currently there are no required docs listed here that are specifically for any internal loan programs since this column is blank. Let's see what happens when we assign our internal loan program called ABC Lender Fix and Flip. We'll go to our Quick App tab to assign the internal loan program. Once the Quick App tab opens, We'll look for the section that says Select Internal Loan Program. Then we'll choose our ABC Lender Fix and Flip Internal Loan Program from this drop down list to assign this internal loan program to this fix and flip loan file we're currently in. This simulates the decision of placing this loan with this specific lender or investor, so I want to make sure I collect any additional required docs needed for this specific lender or investor. Then click Save to save the internal loan program to this loan file. Now that we've assigned the internal loan program, let's go back to the Docs tab and see the list of docs that we'll be collecting for this loan file. Now we're back in the Docs tab of the same loan file, 
but we've assigned an internal loan program. Let's scroll down a bit. So now, in this last column, we can see that there are new internal loan program required docs that were not on this list before. These are the unique documents we've told the system we need to collect only when we've assigned this internal loan program called ABC Lender Fix and Flip. You'll be able to create unique settings for your internal loan programs, not just for your required docs, but also for your loan guidelines, workflow steps, and form field settings, which means that you can add unique fields or questions to your application that are lender or investor specific as well. Just remember to create your internal loan program first, and then you can create the unique required docs, guidelines, workflows, and assign form fields after.